All right, I'm out doing the shoreline again tonight after work. And if I can pick up anything cool. This is my first cool thing. Look at that, a little teeny spoon. It's kind of old too. Nice. You know what, I just noticed there's a baby on here. <laughs> and the back says Gerber. Huh. That might be collectible. Look at that, I got me a brass buckle. Yeah, no, yeah, that's aluminum. I think. Oh, it's ringing up so good. Well, did you look at that? What do we got? Ooh! <laughs> that is awesome. No way. Oh, let me wash that sucker up. Now that is a beautiful sterling ring. It says Bell Sterling in there. So it's going to have a little bit of age to it too. It looks old. Awesome. Man, that never gets old, does it? Dude, I got another ring here. This is not far off where the other one was. What do we got here? Let me clean it up. Yeah, that's only a few feet away. It says JXTI. I think it's titanium. It's coming up a 14. I was hoping for white gold. But hey, a ring's a ring, huh? Awesome. Well, I just found some of these readers. Well, this is really looking up. What is going on? Okay, that's going to be bling. But look at that. Three ring nine. Okay, Brad and I are doing the Riverside Homestead. And you can see there's just a huge plowed field. Done pretty good here in the past. Let's see what we can get today. All right. Oh, are you kidding me? Is that your first one? First one. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Little mini ball from something, too. It's crazy. Have you found a date yet? Nope, didn't look that close. Oh, well, it's got a beautiful little patina on there. Wow. And we just got started. 1914, maybe? 1914. See the backside of that sucker. Look at that. Pretty good shape. Yeah, awesome. Silver right off the bat. You gotta love that. We've only been here like 15 minutes. Silver. Wow. We got some sort of button here. It's kind of riding almost right on the surface, really. See. I think it says headlight. Weird. Not what we'd hoped. But hey, that's a really old nail. It's a good indicator. Hey, just found me an old shovel. <laughs> All right, Brad's striking gold today. Not literally. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Look at that. Dang, that's a nice one. Flip that sucker over. That's awesome, man. Yeah, nice little clip. And then just about a foot away, I'm just stand here eating a granola bar, watched him pull a toe tap. We thought it was going to be a rifle show. <laughs> Awesome. Look at that, I got me some suspender. Awesome, how awesome is that? Ant pile. 
Oh. Yeah. I, th I thought that was going to be a horse, but that looks like a dog. Looks like a dog to me. That's cool. Huh. Well, I guess we got a toy. Man, that's some old stuff there. Mm -hmm. Well, cheers now. Woo. The toy smile. <laughs> I'm pretty sketchy to me. To you? I'm just getting bits and pieces of it, and it's a high number, but it ain't registering very good. <clears throat> All right, well, his machine's saying don't dig. My machine's saying boom. Like, it's acting like there's a clad quarter right there. I don't want it to be a clad quarter. Quarter's a quarter. Dang. The heck. Where's a quarter? Or it's a coin. Ah, <laughs> clad quarter. I was right. Almost looks silverish. Yeah, it's That's a sixty-seven exactly. though. Just my luck. Oh well. I just wanted to interject here for just a second. And what I wanted to say is this kind of shows the frequencies matter because Brad's using a gold machine and his frequency is like sixty-four, sixty-three, something crazy high. And I'm using a multi-frequency, which uses, is using a blend of different frequencies. So the lower your frequency, they say, the better it hits on silver. And the higher the frequency, the more it's going to hit on, like, small gold. And so Brad did get silver in this episode, but he said it didn't sound very good. And I'm wondering, by using that machine, how much silver he's actually missing. Because you could see... He could barely hear that quarter. He probably thought it was just a like a nail or something. So keep that in mind. You know, play with your frequencies. You know, maybe go to a site, use multi-frequency, use a low frequency, use a high frequency. You might just find different stuff just by the frequencies. So keep that in mind, guys. Frequencies matter. Well, we just got done having hamburgers. And Brad went home. I thought I'll stay another hour, see if I can get something good. Look at that. It's a general service button. How cool is that? In fact, we were just talking about these today. I'm like, I sure love it when those come up. And we have got a couple out of this site before, so this isn't an unusual find by any means. Look at that, full shank. Let me clean it up a little. Wow, you gotta love the sandy soil of this site. Just preserves everything. That thing is just beautiful. Back marks intact and the shank intact. Doesn't get much nicer than that. Awesome. Let's see what else we can get. I still got maybe an hour. So this thing's kind of neat. It uh, has some sort of. Oh! You know what? This must have been an old... I wonder if this is an old temperature gauge for outside or something. Yeah, I wonder if that was. It says patent July 9th of 89. I don't think that's 1989, so... 1889? So it's probably an early 1900s thermostat. I don't know, you guys tell me. Had to be Celsius. Well, what would a home site be without finding part of a pocket watch, huh? <laughs> so crazy how many of these you find. Well, I'm on my way back to the truck, just heading through the forest. See if I can just bump something. But I thought it went pretty well. 
especially for a return trip probably my fifth time probably brad's like 20th time so oh, we did pretty good for how many times we've been there anyways hope you liked it see you next time